Oh, one through four coming out. I want a laminate crown in 22 on 30. No. Okay, open up. No. Yeah, no. Okay. No. Oh. No. No. We don't need it. No. Right here. no. Okay. Scratch that. Bring me a hammer, pliers, and a rock star. No. 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 73, right here. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. I hope it comes back. Oh, God. Oh. Welcome to another Head to Head. Today we are looking at two of the top sporting and match rifles in the world. On the left hand side we have the FX Crown in 25 caliber and on the right we have the RAW HM1000X. And this is the LRT, the long range target version. Now this is a tough head to head to do because these are top, top competitors. Yes they are. They're both punching the same weight and uh, we're going to put them through the ringer and see how they do. Good. Now we're going to look at five categories today. First is build quality and general ergonomics. Right. Uh, then second, we're going to look at the trigger. Okay. We're going to look at sound. Okay. And we're going to look at uh, accuracy and then power and consistency. Sounds good. Let's get started. Let's go. And, and you're going down. Is that a short joke? Without a scope, the crown weighs 7.3 pounds, and with the 600 millimeter barrel with the shroud retracted, it's 43 inches long. Okay. The raw, on the other hand, without the scope, weighs 8.85 pounds, a little on the heavy side. Uh, as it sits right here, it's 45.37 inches long. So a little longer than yours. Yeah, a little longer and a little heavier. The, th the crown, really for my taste, has just an incredible stock. One of the main things I thing I really like about it, the adjustable comb. You've got a fully adjustable cheek or, or butt pad here that can go, you know, basically in any direction. Uh, the grip's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice and vertical. I would like it a little bit bigger for real target shooting for me, but I've got really big hands, so I think it's just about right for everybody else. Yeah. You know, the balance point is just right here in front of the trigger guard. You know, really nice. Uh, you know, you've got a little bit of an extension out here. It's pretty thin. You can put a rail, you know, a, a Picatinny rail on there, but... Uh, Why would you do that to that stock? Yeah, it's, uh, it's so pretty. Oh. But uh, anyhow, shoulders really nicely. You can carry this all day. Great, great It is ergonomics. Great the raw, on the other hand, actually, these new raws are really nice. They are a lot lighter than the original raws. Those things were just heavy. Uh, the balance is pretty good right and, there too. And they balance a lot. Yeah, better. yeah, right. way better. Look at that. Um, what I also like about this, the cheek weld, the adjustable butt stock. I also like this M-lock rail. They've integrated it in the bottom of the stock now. This is great for you guys who want to do a little modifications, add a, add a few more parts to it, make it your own, and that way you don't have to drill anything in the bottom of the stock. And it still leaves it flat. It does leave it flat. Um, I like the carbon fiber sleeve barrel. It's really stiff. Uh, the front end, the, the, can, the can on the front is really nice to look at, but it doesn't do much for sound profile. Yeah, it's still kind of loud. A little loud, yeah. So which one, which one wins? I mean, weight-wise and length, uh, the, the crown comes ahead. Definitely. To add a bipod, uh, the adjustability, the 22 MOA built-in to the rail is very nice. And it just feels so solid, doesn't it? It is solid. Although I do like picking that up, and it's really nice to, to hold. Yeah, what, what do we call it? A, a draw? We'll go a draw this time. Okay, it's a draw. Now for the trigger test. Okay. One pound, four ounces. One 
one pound, 4.1 ounces. One pound, 3.7 ounces. For an average of one pound, 3.9 ounces. Very, very nice. Very consistent, huh? Yes. Okay. All right. Do this behind you, <laughs> or in front of you. Okay. Wow, 4.9. Okay. 7.1. 7.0 for an average of 6.3 ounces. Well, your trigger is clearly lighter. It is. A lot lighter. It is. But uh, that tr lightness isn't everything, right? I mean, it's got to be crisp, it's got to be predictable, and my trigger really is crisp and predictable and really nice. But again, my trigger is lighter and crisp and pretty predictable too. Yeah. Now the crown, you can get the crowns trigger down into that five to six ounce range, but you have to adjust all of the first stage travel out of it. Right. So you've got a single stage trigger, whereas that one is a really nice two stage trigger at that, that light. And you can adjust the first stage out of it too, if you like. You can. Uh, so I guess you win this round. Yeah, I figured that much. Let's take these to the range okay. and test out the sound. Right. Now, keep in mind that our range is a narrow enclosed area without any sound deadening baffles or anything. So the noise that you hear in there is always going to be higher than you'll hear in a large room or outside. So uh, let's go and take a test it. On the highest power settings with the shroud extended, the crown registered 96.4 decibels at the highest reading. Not bad. Not bad at all. The raw out the box registered 100.4 decibels, so it's a little loud. Yeah, I think there's no doubt uh, that the Crown won this round, hands down. But I'm, I'm shooting out more power, though. Now, for this round, we took these two guns out to 100 yards. Now we were indoor shooting in a, in a tunnel. Yes, we were. But it's actually pretty hard to get good groups it, at that range. It was weird because there was a breeze. Go, it was, the, I guess, the, the, the venting system. Yeah, you think it's indoor, but there's actually a lot of wind swirling down that range. So it's always hard to get an objective uh, reading here. But, uh, and now I told you at the beginning I was going to shoot two five shot groups. Right. Right, which is what I did here. You did. So this group here measures 0 0.87 inches. This group measures 0 0.6 inches. And I actually didn't mean to shoot two, uh, two five shot groups. The whole thing from top to bottom, you know, at the, at the widest point, is 1.29 inches. But again, we weren't sorting pellets. Right, they were straight and, out of uh, the tent, straight out of the tent. And the way it was doing two such good groups, it may have been a, you know, a sighting error on my point, you know. Mm -hmm. 
I may have had the scope not quite set up right, but anyhow, that's a pretty good group. Yeah, it's not bad at all. The raw, on the other hand, when I sighted in, it wasn't too bad, you know? I was sighting in, it was coming around, and I finally got everything into one hole. But when I actually, actually did the actual group, I mean, I have all this here, and then I have one flyer down here. Uh, the 11 shots here were 1.28 inches. The total 12 shots here were 2.5 inches. So, I mean, it might be me because I'm not used to having a rifle with that soft a trigger. Yeah. All my guns are set up for hunting, so the triggers are a little, more, little have a little more, um, you know, pull to them. This was, man, that was amazingly just <laughs> crazy soft. And, and to be fair, you shot a full magazine, which is 12 rounds. Right. So, you know, you could say, you know, take that one off, 11 out of 12 went in 1.28 inches. Right. So it's, it's, it's pretty darn close if we, if, you know, I don't know what shot that was. That was actually the fourth shot, I believe. Okay. It just dropped. It was crazy, so I don't know. And it could have been a heavier pellet or something, too. Right. But, but, uh, but as it stands, the crown wins this round. At 50 yards, I dominated you, though. Yeah, but that wasn't the competition. Ah, oh, yes it was. Now, for the final round, we're going to go to the range again. And we're going to shoot them over the chronograph. We're going to get a full shot string okay. and see what kind of power they're putting out and how consistent the regulator works because they're both uh, regulated guns. Right. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. With a fill of 250 bar, the Crown got 102 shots. The average was 885.6 feet per second, gave us 45 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. The extreme spread was 24 feet per second, and the standard deviation was 4.6 feet per second. Not bad. That's pretty good. Not bad. And well, this is and this is again straight out of the box. It is straight out of the box, as is the raw. Yeah. But again, this is about power. So on that note, with a fill of 230 bar, the raw got 45 shots per fill. Not quite as many as yours, but 45 shots wasn't bad. It averaged 924 feet per second for 48 foot-pounds. See, uh, I got a spread of 21 feet per second with a standard deviation of 4.2. Yeah. Okay, so I got twice as many shots per fill as you did. Power. But power and consistency is the name of this category. One and done. Yeah. Three and maybe. No, that's not <laughs> true. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, so, so you win this one. Well, let's tally these up here. All right. In uh, the build quality and general ergonomics, mm -hmm. uh, it was draw. Yeah, both of them are well built. They, they do what they're supposed to do. They're um, just really well-made rifles. When we tested the trigger, yours won easily. Oh yeah, it was crazy. Sound, mine won easily. Yeah, it was crazy too. Yeah. They really need to do something about that. Yeah, you know, maybe some baffles or something. Again, it's putting out a lot of power. It that, is. That makes noise. Uh, when we went to the accuracy, the crown won. Yeah. At, at 100 yards. Yeah. I think maybe with a different pellet, uh, more time behind the rifle, I think uh, it would come into its own, let it break in a little it, more. Quite possibly. Yeah. And then finally, the consistency and the power, the raw win. So that's two for the crown. Two for the raw. Yes, it is. And uh, one draw. There might have to be a part two on this. Okay. Stay tuned, folks. If you found this helpful or enjoyed this, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave any comments that you have in the section below. We'd love to hear what you guys think about this head-to-head. -head. Joe, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching.